We're in a short series on why did God make me this way. Now, we began this series by telling everyone that it is not uh, God's intention to create, especially with all these flaws and all these weaknesses. It's not the intention to blame God. It is the intention of God to make us better and to transform us or to redeem us in a real way. Last week, we talked about the opportunities that God gives in our lives. People cross our paths, and we have time and time again the ability to use what we know about God to change and help the direction of someone's life. Today, we're going to talk about giftedness. Now, this concept of spiritual giftedness, giftedness is very interesting because everyone has one, a spiritual gift, that is. But Seemingly, in the modern church, this emphasis on spiritual giftedness has uh, sort of uh, uh, disappeared. The church has become uh, mega churches where you get some superstar pastor where everyone says, oh, wow, this guy can preach really well. Let's go and listen to this person. Or this, this place has great music, you know, and let's go in here and, and feel the vibes of worship, you know. Or this place has great children's ministry, so let's go and, and our children can be served and can grow in Christ. Now, there's nothing wrong with these things. But the purpose of God at the end of what the church should be is that we should be training every believer to be involved in ministry to help everyone around them within the church. This is very, very important. For in the Old Testament, ministry was limited to priests, kings, judges, prophets. But in the New Testament, every believer in Jesus Christ is given the ability to serve See, in the Old Testament, it was a nation with, a, with priests to serve people. But in the New Testament, we are a kingdom of priests. Everyone can serve. I'm going to read you a few passages. First, in the book of Romans, chapter 12, it goes like this. For as in one body, this is verse 4. We have many members, and the members do not have the same function. So, though many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them, if prophecy, to the proportion to our faith. I'm going to read you another passage from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12. I'm going to read you verse 1, then jump to verse 4. Read a few verses following verse 4. It goes like this. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. You see, Spiritual giftedness was not for yourself. Spiritual giftedness, according to Scripture, was to help other people grow in Christ. And every believer in Jesus has it, whether you realize it or not. And like I said earlier, I think the modern-day church is sort of moving away from this. We're becoming a church of professionals to draw people, rather than a church that empowers people to each serve one another in ways that cause us to grow in Christ. Now, there are gifts of teaching. There are miraculous gifts of, of sort of intercession. And there are uh, 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 compassion gifts, common grace gifts, uh, mercy. There are organizational gifts like administration. All sorts of gifts. And if you want to read them, you could read them in uh, 1 Corinthians, the book of Romans, and the book of Ephesians. It's not the purpose of this mini-sermon to go through all of them and to find them. But it's the purpose of this mini-sermon is to uh, encourage you not just to be hearers of the Word of God or to be people attracted to ministry to help myself through the Word of God. But this message is to encourage you to grow and to serve and to help other people 
Because believe it or not, that is what Jesus Christ always envisioned for you to be. To be someone who understood and understands who they are in Christ and be actively involved in the maturity, spiritual maturity of believers around them.